Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. Alright, so Ingress Nginx has announced its retirement. In today's video, let's try to understand the reason behind it and also let's try to understand what should be your next steps as DevOps or Cloud Instance or as someone who is taking care of Kubernetes in your organization. But before we get there, let me share a very interesting thing, something that you should definitely understand. So basically, when you hear the term Nginx Ingress Controller, there are two Nginx Ingress Controller implementations. One is called Ingress Nginx and other is called Nginx Ingress Controller. So the first one, Ingress Nginx is maintained by community the Kubernetes maintainers and second one is actually maintained by the parent company which is Nginx right now F5. Lot of people don't understand this because I work for Nginx I understand the confusion that it creates in the community. So first of all I want to make it clear there are two Nginx controllers in the market. The first one is Ingress Nginx Second one is Nginx Ingress Controller. Right now, this one is getting deprecated. So basically, if you went to official Kubernetes documentation and if you installed the Nginx Ingress Controller, then yes, you are impacted because this is getting deprecated. Whereas if you went to official Nginx documentation and if you installed Ingress Controller from here, following this documentation or following this helm chart then you are not impacted because at this point this is not still deprecated now what exactly deprecation means so basically deprecation means from 2026 to be specific from march of 2026 as mentioned here the new versions of ingress nginx will not be released. Basically, the maintainers decided that there will be no further releases, no bug fixes, no updates to resolve any security vulnerabilities. If you are interested, you can still fork the project. Of course, it will be archived on GitHub. But if you are interested, you can create a fork and you can continue to use it in your organization by maintaining it by yourself. I'm sure not a lot of people would be interested in it because it's going to be a huge effort. So if you are using Ingress Nginx, the recommendation is that you should migrate to the alternative that is Gateway API. Let's say you don't want to migrate to Gateway API. You have options. One, you can go back, use Nginx Ingress Controller that is provided by Nginx or F5. Or you can also use any other ingress controllers. It can be traffic or it can be Kong ingress controller. There are multiple ingress controllers in the market, even including HAProxy. So you can pick up any of these and you can still use ingress controller instead of going with gateway API. However, the future is going to be gateway API because even Kubernetes SIG security special interest group so network special interest group is focusing on gateway API. Now the big question is why are they planning to retire Ingress Nginx? The very important reason that is stated in the deprecation notice is lack of maintainers. Today we keep talking about open source contributions. We keep asking in different groups, various communities. I want to contribute to open source but the reality is that CNCF or lot of open source projects today are actually not finding active contributors. I'm not talking about contributions to readme files or first time contributions but I'm talking about taking that effort to maintain an open source project. Giving your four to five hours a day for an open source project. The reality is that CNCF is actually finding it difficult. 
and that is one of the major reasons why ingress nginx is going into the retirement state so it is mentioned for years the project has had only one or two people doing the development work imagine a very popular ingress controller just having one or two contributors that means lot of work so instead the maintainers of this project have decided they have announced that they will move to the replacement controller that is gateway api implementation so that they might see new contributors or you know they might see some interest in the community even in this case they would need active contributors anyways this is the current state that ingress nginx is getting into deprecation either you have to move to other ingress controllers or you have to move to gateway api if you have a question why are they you know two implementations of nginx ingress controller let me clear the air for you again as someone who worked for nginx even i had this question lot of times when i went to the documentation when i tried to talk to the maintainers this is the answer that i got basically when kubernetes during the initial days of kubernetes you know that even today kubernetes does not have native load balancer implementation right kubernetes does not have something called as a native load balancer so back then what kubernetes community has decided is to allow load balancing companies to develop their own ingress controller so basically any company any load balancing company it can be nginx or it can be fi it can be cisco it can be traffic kong instead of being vendor dependent kubernetes said hey any one of you can develop your own ingress controller all that users have to do they have to provide an ingress resource looking at this ingress resource you can configure a load balancer for them a sophisticated enterprise grade load balancer now when kubernetes did this to show as an example basically for the documentation for the proof of concept what kubernetes said we will show you how to develop this ingress controller basically we will develop nginx ingress controller because nginx is very lightweight it is very popular in the community lot of people use it so this actually started as a example implementation at the same time the parent company nginx along with kong ingress controller they saw that everybody is interested so parent company nginx said that we will also have our own ingress controller implementation so this is backed by community this is backed by parent community or the parent company so that's why there are two implementations of ingress nginx ingress controller so if you want to understand which one are you using you can basically run this command kubectl get pods if you are not clear which nginx ingress controller are you using just run this command if you see the annotation with ingress nginx that means you are using the kubernetes one so you have to take this deprecation notice seriously if you don't see this or if you followed the official documentation of nginx you don't have to worry at this point of time i hope this video provides you a clear information make sure you share this video with devops or cloud engineers so that they are also aware of this deprecation notice this does not come as a surprise to them because if this comes as a surprise they will have very less time for the transition thank you so much for watching today's video see you all in the next one take care